The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said he intends to build a broad coalition following his victory in Tuesday's general election. Exit. New bushfires are burning across southern Australia where people in the state of Victoria have been warned to abandon their homes as a major blaze heads their way. Residents in the now, a team of engineers say that they have developed technology which could reduce the damage if there were ever another terrorist attack, such as the July the 7th bombings in London. Expert Singer Beyonce may have stolen the show at President Obama's inauguration with her rendition of the U.S. national anthem, but a debate is raging as to whether she sang live or mimed. Let's have a look. We all agree that if it is lip-syncing or miming, it's the best miming we've ever seen. Exactly. And she's got a fabulous voice, whether it's live or pre-recorded, eight minutes past eight. Now, the Prime Minister has begun that long-awaited speech on Europe. This morning, he's going to be promising a referendum on the EU, whether you want to be in or out, and that should come by 2018, if the Conservatives win the next election. Our political correspondent, Carol Walker, is outside the venue. For the moment, thank you. So, uh, the Prime Minister delivering that speech... Uh, Mr. David Cameron, who is on his feet at the moment, still talking. And you heard him there describing the character of the UK and its relationship with Europe. It's part of his preamble to describing the fact that he's going to draft legislation and that if the Conservatives win the next election in 2015, uh, they will have in place uh, the mechanism for a referendum, an in or out referendum, which would be held by 20.